Alrighty guys, welcome back to another episode of Tornado Survival here on Minecraft, and I just walked into a swarm of monsters. I'm on my way back from our storm chase last time, kind of keep my eye in case this next daylight session will bring some exciting weather into the Minecraft world. Not sure if that's going to be the case, we'll find out. Uh, but I saw this earlier, and I wanted to come back and conquer this, because maybe it'll have some gold, redstone, and good stuff in it, but uh, there we go using the creeper to our advantage. Um, I am trying to just take out these guys so I can go inside the dang thing. But I'm having a little bit of trouble here. Um, I guess we got some sand at least. Oh, we could use that string. We don't have a bow yet. Okay. Let's reheal a bit, take out that creeper, and then go inside and see if we can find... Oh, jeez. Poor thing, you just got blown to bits. This might have to wait until day. I might just have to hide. These are way too many monsters. Did not bring a bed with me. Been a while since I've been playing this. I've been playing too much. I'm looking for a fire to go sip. Oh my gosh. Where did this come from? There was nothing on radar when I re started recording. You guys bringing me some luck. I was saying I've been playing too much dang Zelda. I've been looking for a fire to sit by to pass my time. Wow. I had kill, hit him a lot, I feel like. Oh, hey. Oh, shoot. Did you see me? Did you see me? Radar check. Oh, it's a weakening thunderstorm. Boo! No one likes weakening thunderstorms. How about you blow me up a hole in this floor, please? Perfect! Wonderful. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Okay. Well, before more monsters fall on our head... Um, lucky that they should make that wooden. You know, these are too easy when it's stone. You just have to not hit it. I wish they would make it wooden, so that way, when you mine the blocks on top, if you're not careful, next thing you know, a block falls on top of it like that, boop, presses it down, and you're screwed. I wish they would do that, make it a little bit harder. But that doesn't look like that's going to be the case. Okay, get a little bit of sandstone here. I want to make our way down here. Let's see if we get anything good. There should be. There's always gems in this. I'll take some of this. I'll take the horse armor, I guess. That's pretty junky chest, though. Junky chest as well. Wow. Where, oh, where can there be sand in them? That's weird. But I guess it makes sense. There we go. There's a diamond and some emeralds. Although, I really wanted iron or gold. I don't know if you can find redstone in these. I know you can find gold. I don't even know if you could find... I guess you can find some iron. I'll take some free TNT. You never know when you're going to need some TNT. Oh, lightning going to set these things off. That's a good lightning detector. <laughs> Just place TNT on poles everywhere around town. Be like, oh, yep. Yeah. That huge explosion that just happened on the outskirts of town. Yeah, that was lightning hitting a TNT block you put up on a metal pole. I think there's a lightning storm coming. Although, I'm pretty sure you would hear it and see the lightning at that point. But uh, I guess humans have done dumber things. So, Alright, let's get out of here. Hopefully daylight's coming. It's been night for a while. I feel like it should have been day by now. Maybe the storm's making it dark. Um... I need to get out of here, too. I believe there's stairs in the towers. There are. So this thunderstorm's hanging out overhead. This was a bit of a surprise. Let's see where this is going to do for us. Uh, this episode, I plan on doing a bit of mining. I just wanted to show conquering this, and in case the storm chasing got easy. The next cave I see, since I now conquered this, um, I am going to go down and do some mining. So I want to start work continuing to work my way back towards home. But uh, keeping out for a cave. And I'll definitely show you guys some caves. And do a little bit more chatting with you because this is Minecraft. Some of you do like your mining episodes. And I want to make sure I still make some of you happy. So, but I won't rule out the chance of some severe weather. So if you don't like mining but you want to see a tornado, maybe you should hang around just a little bit longer. Although maybe the title makes it obvious <laughs> if something is coming. Or perhaps the thumbnail. Or perhaps... Gosh darn it. Oh my gosh. 
I wanted to break the blocks and try and make everything fall into this. Nope, oh, that didn't work. It's not a giant sand-filled lava pit. We're going to keep on running. <laughs> well, I think this is the village we originally thought we were going to live in until I found that much better place. So, anyway, maybe there's a hint. I'm going to cut until I get down into a cave, and once I find a cave that has some adequate mining, I will be sure to pick things up with you guys. I have found myself a pretty sizable cave so far. I went down quite deep, and uh, we're going to probably stick with this. Of course, I'm, I'm kind of low on resources here um, in general, so I'm probably going to have to stop and make a base soon and, uh, you know, make some more tools. Did I even bring the diamond one with me? I didn't even bring the diamond pickaxe with me. I really should probably just go back and turn these things in. Um, but I hear thunder. I thought that storm had dissipated, so let's just double check. If the radar is going to work from underground, real life this wouldn't. Oh, we do have a new storm. I wonder if that's the one we're hearing. It's moving towards us. We'll keep eye on that. That could potentially be what we just what we just started to hear. Um, there are a few things around here. There's a bat, and there's some decent stuff down here. So, um, I'm sure you guys have seen the latest snapshots for Minecraft. Um, again. They continue to add in, this is always just my two cents, Every, almost every snapshot I feel like, except for the Elytra in the last like three years, they just continue to add things into Minecraft that no one asked for, and no one honestly probably cares about, but we're all going to be like, okay, I guess we'll take it, sure, parrots are fine, you know, we have these giant empty oceans that we've been asking to be filled, but instead you're just going to add parrots, I mean, I guess it's one more thing to add to the jungles, but they already had the ocelots. And the cocoa beans. But still, I guess I don't hang out in them too much. And, I mean, they're kind of cool. So, sure, parrots. But there's about 20 other things I would have rather had in Minecraft. Uh, before I would have said, sure, add parrots. That can sit on my shoulder. <laughs> uh, the advancements, though, I think that's kind of cool. Um, the achievement system did need an overhaul. Um, I think it's just lacking. So, uh, it's kind of exciting that they've noticed that. And he's going to do some good stuff with it. I was... The whole crafting system, they're starting to make it look more like the other systems. You know, PC is really the only version of Minecraft, I believe. Do correct me if I'm wrong, but from what the other ones I played, which is Xbox, I've played Xbox and Pocket Edition, and then I've seen um, the Wii U edition along with the other, along with, uh, I think it's about it. Yeah, that storm is weakening too. Um, so that's what I've seen. And in all of those, if you guys haven't played them, you'll notice that the crafting interface and inventory is often quite different. And that is because they, you know, tell you the recipes. So you can craft things yourself the original way um, by just placing a crafting table. But otherwise, you can just click on and be like, I want more sticks, and it'll just, like, do it for you, you know? The crafting element is less guesswork so for new people um you don't have to figure things out yourself or look things up online um although i thought that's a huge part of the game and i kind of don't like when you know i like when i get a new version of minecraft and i have to figure out the crafting recipes and then memorize them and there's still things that i often have to still look up because um, i haven't played them you know crafted them in a while or i forget or it's just things i don't really use often so i do kind of um you know i like that part of the game but uh, i see why they're doing it and they're not totally kind of going away with it it's just like you can click that option and it opens an interface where it will tell you everything um you know that you can craft with the items that you have but i do like that they've made it almost like it's unlockables um so you you can kind of like once you do it once you've earned the recipe but it also it doesn't quite tell you um, things you can like it doesn't tell you how to craft the beacon you know you have to get that stuff first and then it'll be like oh hey you can make a beacon with this stuff so thought that's i'm kind of supporting that um let's see some more iron does this keep going down because i really would like to be deeper because we need the redstone probably more than anything so hey there we that spider was here earlier and i wish I wish it would have dropped, it would have still been here because I need some string. I would really like a bow. 
but of course we don't have that at the moment. Okay, I think this cave is, we should have picked a different branch to go to. Because I'm not swimming up that. <laughs> yeah, we're not going to swim up that. So we're going to call this, we're going to turn around. <laughs> um, oh, have we been up there? I think we have been up there. So I know you guys have asked for this before about um, I should be doing snapshot reviews, but I'm just never around. Like, I could technically do them Wednesday night when I'm home, once I get home from work and they, they launch them. Um, I usually just don't have the time right when they launch it. Like, by the time I sit down and look to see what's in it, you know, a couple of people I've already subscribed to on YouTube have already released theirs, and everyone else on YouTube has already done like big in-depth reviews of them so then i'm kind of like well but it's like already over although a lot of you have said that i am like the, the only channel you do watch so you would definitely um, benefit from it because it's not like you're watching 12 other channels that you've already see it and oftentimes people show different things too so all right i really should have gone back home first probably would have been a smart idea Actually, we're just going to do three right now because this is all we have. Whoops. Because I don't have the inventory space for it. So we're definitely going to click the sign and probably go back. I think this cave was a, done, a dud. And once I drop off all this stuff back at the base, uh, we'll find a new cave. I'll probably start a strip mine um, from town. So that way we have we have some sort of mining system in town. And um, look for a cave in that field next to it. And then I'll uh, show you guys once we get that. Because I do want to get some obsidian. So strip mine will probably be a good way to do that. And I also need the diamond pickaxe that I've already made. So we'll take this now. We'll take that. And let me gather up this stuff in this cave. And I will catch up with you guys in a moment. I am getting lost on my way back. Because I got turned around and I'm too lazy to look up the cords. But plus I'm finding good stuff. Looks like it's safe to go down now. So I found another one of, uh, of these guys. I thought this might have been the one I did earlier. So that means I'm going home the right direction. So we're going to hop on down see what we get. I don't think I'm going to have the inventory space to carry it. But at least we can mark it and come back to it, I think. That'll be pretty good. Um... Should have ran around the jungle a little bit. Let's see. Garbage. And... Ooh. Those will be useful. I'll make sure to make room for those. More garbage. Oh my gosh. There's just lots of parts in these things. And... Okay, I'll take... Again, the emeralds I guess we can use to start trading with the villagers. To, you know, start it up, but... Okay, so we have these two chests. I guess I should put something in my offhand. We'll put the torches in my offhand. And what can we get rid of here? Um, I don't need all this gold horse armor. It's so pointless. If you don't have PvP, like, I need one. Like, I'll take the iron or, I don't know, something else. But I don't need that. I can leave this mushroom, whatever. We'll get more mushrooms. Um, don't need these oak saplings, so maybe we can take home all this, just to have it, I guess, and I really don't want to get rid of anything else. We'll leave, um, we're going to just leave a gold horse armor, some of you will probably scream a little bit, but it's not like this is modded where I can turn this back into, uh, gold, and I definitely don't need three, like, oh my gosh. If they were all diamond, I would probably take them. Be a little bit more protective for the horse, but... We'll just leave it as it is. So, let's get ourselves out of here now. And I'll continue on my journey back into town. Check that hole out. I think this may be where I will come back. Of course, I have no inventory space. So, I'm not going down there now. But, um, not too far from home. And I do like my just giant pits, because I need some redstone. And it looks like we're getting close, because this is where the sandstone had kicked up. 
ones. Okay, that, that might go somewhere, but the ones that just drop straight down, you know, oftentimes they won't go. There it is. This is really close to home. Look at that beautiful village we've got. It's looking good. All lit up, all bright and fancy. Nice and fenced in. We should really put some gates in so that I can get back in easily. Ah, there we go. And I need these are ready to be flattened down. All right. This is great. This just really needs to be moved. We're going to move this well <laughs> sometime soon. All right. Let's drop all this stuff off that we have acquired. And also place this radar back down so we can see what things are shaping up like near here. It's starting to get a little dark over there, but I didn't see anything impressive. So it looks like we have nothing. We have another clear day. What gives? It's just like the huge forecasting failure that just happened into the middle and lower Mississippi Valley the other day. You know, the usual. The usual. Weathermen get very excited. Emergency managers get very excited for things that never really looked that terribly exciting. And then, uh, what are you doing? <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, so it's one of those things where when you see that moderate risk, and I was, you know, I'm, I'm looking at the model. I'm looking at everything, and I'm thinking, what are they looking at that makes them think that they want to place... This huge area under this moderate risk, like, what are they talking about? Um, no model data suggests it, and the way things had trended with the observation, with the, you know, the ongoing observations, it's very evident that in the Gulf there would be an MCS, a mesoscope convective system, an area of storms in the Gulf that was going to put a crap ton of clouds to the north that would really um, inhibit the instability, and, uh, you know. It's just one of those things. We have a long way to go still in our model technology. Yes, in 2017, we still have very crappy models. And we still have a long way to go in learning how to properly communicate risk, uncertainty, and threats in forecasts and preparedness with emergency managers because people freak out over the littlest things. And... Uh, yeah, it's, these need to be organized. <laughs> we need a storage room. Um, you know, I don't know what else to say about it other than it was just dumb. And it was unnecessary. You know, there was supposed to be a bunch of stuff in North Florida too, and it all just goes down the drain. And it's very obvious to me that, you know, 24, 48, 48 hours out, I'm like, what were they looking at? Or they put out the outlook, and I'm like, okay, let me look at what they just looked at. And I'm like... You crazy. You are crazy. But anyway, I digress. I know just I, some of you were a little excited and commenting about things, but uh, you ended up having nothing to worry about. And I think it was a very quiet end to the week. So, yeah, this is this. Those trees are starting to grow in a little bit. Our horse is feeding quite well. Um, I wonder... I guess I could go run down and go down that hill. I guess I need to make some better tools here. And we'll go run down into that giant pit. So I'm going to prepare myself with this iron that we just got. And I'll meet you guys as I'm about to jump down that pit. There she is. Let's hop on down. I see, ooh, there's lava. Hot lava. If you want to know what that's from, Hot lava, ooh. On my channel, somewhere in the dark depths of the thousand some videos I have on my channel, somewhere, there is a series of videos where I attempted to do a let's play of one of, of my favorite racing game ever. It was called Beetle Adventure Racing for the N64. And uh, I tried to do a let's play of it, and I got about 80% of the way through it, and... Oh! Oh my gosh, there's a spider spawner. Holy cow. Look at this. This was meant to be coming down here. Speaking of string, which I had actually gotten quite a bit. Um, this is awesome. I haven't found a natural dungeon in a long time. 
And some decent things. Nothing too special. We'll take another golden apple and another saddle. I guess because we have all this armor, but no saddles. <laughs> um, so I guess we'll take all of this. Sweet! We'll have to make a spawner soon. We'll have to make one of those. Or at least we know if we need string, we can come here and grind it up. But anyway, it got too difficult, and I couldn't beat the final one. And I would love to return and try and beat that, that final segment there. Um, oh, this is great. What a great cave system this is. I am going to spend lots of time mining in this one. Plenty of gold. Plenty of lava. Plenty of dungeons. Keeps going deeper. I'm sure there's redstone and diamond around here somewhere. Um... But if you want to go watch it, I think, you know, one of the courses in the volcano, I think I purposely, like, drove into lava, or like I did, and you got to see when he's, when, the, it has a commentator, basically. Um, a guy that just records a voices, like, when things happen. And he's got one that's like, it's foggy. And like, our, you know, our family would always say that, like, every time it's foggy, because the, the beetle mode, the beetle battle, where you're battling now, the battle mode of that game is the best battle mode of any game ever. So... Just saying, I hold that game to very high standards, but it is for the N64, and you race a bunch of beetle cars. You know, Volkswagen beetle bugs. That's kind of what the premise of the game is, is centered around. And it's got some pretty good courses on it. And uh, when you hit hot lava in the volcano, if you'd like die in it, that's one of the things you can say. So, let you know into the small world of what goes through my brain. All right. Ooh, lapis. I don't think we have any lapis. Do we have any lapis? I'm not sure, but we'll need this for some enchanting. And I do have... This is good that there's a little bit of lava here. So we can get... Hopefully there's a lava lake somewhere, but at least... Oh, there's some lava lakes on the surface. I didn't even think about going to those. But hopefully we can get... Even... I just need a couple. We need, what, four for the enchantment table? I'm not worried about the nether yet. The nether adventure... And uh, nether tornadoes and stuff that will be for a later part in this in this series. And this is this is some good caves here. These are some good caves. You know, I haven't been playing much Minecraft recently. I've only been only been recording these things because Skatem's been so busy. I've been wanting to play Sky Factory, but I played too much Zelda and I found myself like hopping around, like trying to like like oh I'll just deploy my glider to like get around everywhere. <laughs> I'm like no, <gasps> diamonds. Diamonds! Still the excitement. You know you know how many diamonds I have mined in this game? I mean, it has to be like a million of them. But it is still just quite the thrill when you are going through this a cave system. It's one thing when you're strip mining, but when you're going through a cave system, you're just killing a bunch of mobs, and you come down and you see this beautiful... I mean, this is a beautiful color. Like, this sticks out. This looks beautiful. And it looks like there's going to be eight of them, which is awesome. Awesome. We are set. We don't need any more diamonds now. Since I use, I usually use iron for almost all of my tools and armor. I never make diamond armor. So really just made for like one beast sword for, oh, redstone. One beast sword. And then of course, I, I guess I do use it for, for pickaxes. That's about all I use diamonds for. Some really beast mining pickaxes. Yes, we can make an extra radar now. Sweet. So sweet. What I might do, because I need to get a bunch of cobblestone so we can start building some towers, um, now that we've got at least the minimal amount of resources we need, I think what I'm going to do between episodes is do a bit of strip mining. I'm going to mine from here, somewhere in this cave system, to underneath of town, and I'll have a strip mine that'll get me into this cave system because it looks like it's going to be pretty vast, and so we can get to the spawner easy. And then, um, also because I'm just going to need to collect a lot of blocks, I need a lot of cobblestone. We're going to need like 10 stacks probably to at least start off. And yes, man, we have just got everything we wanted to get this episode. You cannot go wrong with this. This is good stuff. I just put in that water. <laughs> but at least we can get some obsidian, and we will be completely set as long as i don't die <laughs> okay where's the easy access to the water i know there was tons of water but i think i've been filling it all in yeah, i should have really made a bow before i came in here well i'll find some water i'm going to spend a tiny bit of time in this cave and um 
yeah, I'll spend a bit of time in this cave. And I will get some water. I will get us enough obsidian to make the enchantment table and make an end portal or another portal just because we're here. We'll do it all in one sweep. And um, yeah, then after that, who knows? Oh gosh, you got some good aim over there, dude. There we go. This is what I wanted. Man, you are coming after me. Oh, that's why I'm using my... I thought I was using my sword there. Oh, jeez, I'm gonna actually die. Oh, God. I didn't make a shield. Why do I not have a shield? <laughs> I forget Minecraft has evolved. I'm stuck. I'm stuck in the olden days. Skeletons are beasts now. I forget about that. Should know that from Spazcraft, but I've been so detached from that. I miss that series. Just, it's too busy. Everyone's adults now, you know? It's very hard for us to do. And uh, none of us make enough money to be like, oh, hey, let's just pay for this server because we have lots of money. <laughs> you know, we were high school students. It was like I didn't have, you know, bills to pay and rent. So any money I made, I was like, sure, I'll put it into Minecraft. But that's going to be it for this episode of Tornado Survival. I'm stuck with arrows. We're going to spend some time down in here. And, um, yeah, next episode I'll have this I'll, – I'll probably kick off with that last bit of mining. I'll show you what's going on. And um, we're still waiting for the weather. Don't blame me. I have got it on the max settings here for some interesting weather to happen. But uh, hopefully you've enjoyed just some general Minecraftness. And then all of this time we put into building things, when the weather actually does happen, I think it will make it a lot better and more exciting but also more devastating when things start to get destroyed. But that's all part of the series. So thank you guys for watching, and I'll talk to you guys later. See ya!